counting sort is a fast sorting algorithm that assumes keys are integers that fall within a fixed range. It was introduced by Harold Seawood under the name Floating Digital Sort in his 1954 master's thesis at MIT entitled Information Sorting in the Application of Electronic Digital Computers to Business Operations as part of the wonderfully named Project Whirlwind. Counting sort is an algorithm that is not a comparison sort. It uses key values directly rather than comparisons between keys. It is also stable. It preserves the order of repeated elements. When it comes to complexity, in order to sort n items with integer keys that fall in the range between 0 and k-1, the running time for the sort is big theta of n plus k. Counting sort is able to do better than the theoretically optimal big omega of n log n lower bound for comparison sorts because it is not a comparison sort. The storage required for counting sort is big theta of n plus k, in addition to the big theta of n required to store the input. Counting sort sees usage as a building block for radix sort. It's also particularly useful when the number of possible keys is not too big, such as when k is big O of n. In this case, the runtime is simply big theta of n. Let's see how counting sort can be implemented in Python. Our counting sort function takes in a list a of integer keys, as well as a parameter k that indicates the range of keys in the array. In particular, our function will work with arrays whose k possible keys are the integers from 0 up to and including k-1. We start by computing the length of a. Then, we allocate a list of zeros to keep track of key counts, and a further list that will store the sorted output. Next, we loop over a, incrementing the count for each key we see. We do a second loop over the possible key values from 1 to k that updates counts to store a cumulative sum that represents the count of all keys less than or equal to the current key. We then loop over the keys of the original array in reversed order, storing the key in the appropriate output location and decrementing the corresponding count. This final loop implementation is slightly different to the one proposed by Harold Seawood, but the core idea is the same. Use counts to determine locations. Finally, we return the output. Let's see our function in action on this array, where our assumption will be that all keys are less than 5. After calling the function, we first compute the length of the array, which here yields n equals 6. Then, we initialize our counts array with zeros, one for each possible key. For illustrative purposes, we'll also write the key that corresponds to each count beneath it, though we don't actually store this lower array, since we can simply use the indices of the counts array. Next, we construct an empty output array to hold the results of the sort. We now do our first for loop, examining the first key, which here is 3, and incrementing the counter for 3 in the counts array. Then, we move to the second key, which is 1, and similarly increment its count. We repeat this process for each key in the array until we reach the end and each count value has been updated. Next, we begin our for loop over the counts array, starting at index 1, where we add the previous index to the current index. We move to index 2 and perform the same update. This process is then repeated for each of the remaining locations in the counts array. We now reach our third and most interesting for loop. Starting from the last key in A, we examine the counts array and insert the key into the output location of this count minus 1. Then, we decrement the count for key 3 by 1. We move one step backwards along A, look up the output location for key 0 and insert it, then decrement the count for key 0. This process continues, gradually making its way through each of the elements in A and inserting them into the appropriate output location, each time decrementing the corresponding value in the counts array until we've made it back to the start of A, at which point the sort is complete. We then simply return the output. In the video description, you can find links to Python code to implement counting sort, slides, and references. I hope you have a wonderful day.